Hello, everyone, and a very warm welcome to today. Thank you so much for joining us here today. We are extraordinarily excited to see you all. Whether you are one of the many developers in the room, thank you so much for joining us, or you're joining us online from anywhere in the world, we are extraordinarily excited to be here with you all today. We are incredibly excited to welcome you to our first ever developer event, Canva Extend. So today we've got an absolutely jam-packed agenda for you. And we're going to have everything from panel discussions to developer workshops and Q&A sessions unveiling all of the amazing launches that are coming. As the name of today's event suggests, we're here to talk about extending the opportunities and the possibilities of Canva to developers around the world. That's right. And it's safe to say the possibilities are endless. From introducing powerful mock-ups to engaging data visualizations to time-saving integrations with all of your favorite apps. We've spent the last few years partnering with some of the world's best developers, integration partners, and others who have been putting technology into the hands of our community of millions. Today we have four incredibly exciting announcements. The very first, which I'm excited to be unveiling to you all right here, right now, I'm very pleased to announce, can I get a drum roll? The Canva Developers Program. Developers, developers, developers. There have been so many incredibly talented people across Canva that have worked extraordinarily hard to bring this to life. And we are really excited to be welcoming you all to the Canva Developers Program today. With our new developer program, we're excited to unlock the door to Canva's engaging design engine and developers around the world. So whether you're wanting to create a new idea from scratch or to connect your brand to a whole new audience or looking to massively accelerate your reach, Canva's developer program brings new opportunities to put your apps into the hands of millions. Over the next few hours, we're incredibly excited to share more about our vision for creating the world's most pluggable platform and what it means to join the Canva Developers Program and how you can get involved. And we are extraordinarily excited to share some of the many new opportunities to build together for millions of people across the world. So you'll also be hearing from some of the developers who have already been doing some incredible things with the Canva platform. Like DID, one of the first beta integration partners who are getting a new sign up on Canva every 15 seconds through the Canva app marketplace. But before, yeah, I know, it's pretty impressive. A <laughs> new sign up every 15 seconds. But before we talk about the future, it's important to reflect on how the journey started. So Canva was launched nearly a decade ago. In fact, this August is our 10th year birthday. But many years ago, as you may know, design was extraordinarily complicated and hard, and it would cost thousands of dollars and it wasn't just these programs that you had to learn and navigate. The tools were extraordinarily fragmented and only accessible to professionals or those that could afford them. But I guess back then it didn't really matter that much because communication is predominantly text-based. But today we all know visual communication has become the status quo. Our recent visual economy report is a testament to this, really stating that 94% of US business leaders now expect their employees to have visual design skills, and 62% of these leaders are investing in on-the-job design training. Our goal right from the start, and still today, was to integrate the entire design ecosystem into one simple place. And, very importantly, to make it accessible to the whole world. But back then, we were just a couple of university students, a few kilos skinnier as well, uh, without a lot of experience. So what we did, we took this big idea and applied it to the Australian school yearbook market. So we took over Mel's mum's living room, we put in a big printing press, we started hiring staff, and uh, we slowly started taking over, which was, she was very generous to let us use that room. <laughs> and then in 2009, I met Bill Tai from Silicon Valley, he was an investor, and he said if I jumped on a plane, he'd be happy to meet with me. And so I came over here to San Francisco, with my paper pitch deck in hand, which was talking about the future of publishing, still with the old company name, Fusion Books. For... And a year later, we met our co-founder, Cameron Adams, who you'll be hearing from later today. But we got a lot of rejection. People didn't want to invest in a company based in Australia. People said that design programs for a non-designer sounded like an oxymoron. But eventually, we put together our seed round, and we started to get to work, and we started to grow our team as well. 
And finally, after a year of development, in 2013, Canva was born to power all visual communication needs. And we started to grow rapidly. So in 2015, we hit 1 million monthly active users. And then 2018, we hit 10 million monthly active users. And then fast forward to October last year, we hit 100 million monthly active users. And today, not that long after, we just hit 135 million monthly active users. So as we think about our developer program, there is an extraordinary number of people for your apps to reach. Hey Mel, that was a really cool graph. And so is this one. What were they created in? Flourish. That turns out to be an app on Canva. How good. We also reached another exciting milestone of 15 billion designs created on Canva. That's more than 270 created each and every second. Our mission back then and still today was to empower the whole world to design, which we've broken down into what we call our five mission pillars, to empower everyone to design everything with every ingredient in every language on every device. And we've been working towards that for the last decade, and we believe we'll be doing so for many more to come. Because we truly believe that no matter your background, no matter your income, no matter your experience, we truly believe that everyone everywhere should be empowered to design. So, as you think about developing apps and integrations for Canva, you might be wondering, who are these 135 million people? Good question. They range from the world's smallest businesses to many of the world's largest brands. Which includes more than 85% of Fortune 500 companies. Today we have over 14 million paying subscribers, as well as more than 45 million students and teachers around the world. And we also have more than 400,000 nonprofits who we give away our paid product for free through our nonprofit programs. Our community spans over 190 countries, over 100 languages. And these are huge, untapped opportunities across all of these groups. So we're very excited to work with you and scale, whether that be creating CRM integrations, AI design tools, e-commerce e apps, sales enablement, real estate education, or anything else your mind can dream up, the developer program is for you. So there is a famous quote that I really like and I think is really relevant to this situation. If you want to go fast, go alone, but if you want to go far, go together. And that's what we're really planning to do with the Canva developer program. Today you'll hear about many new ways to get involved and how to bring your ideas to life with Canva. We can't wait to see what you'll create over the months and years to come as you get your apps into the hands of millions of people across the globe. So welcome once again to Canva Extend. We're extraordinarily excited to be here with you all today. Hey San Francisco, how you doing? That is good to hear. My name is Cameron Adams. I'm one of the co-founders and chief product officer here at Canva. And it, it is so exciting to be here in the foggy city with you today because I get to share our big next step for Canva. I'm actually a builder at heart and since the very start of my career as a web designer, I have been passionate about how coding enables me to bring my ideas to life. Some people love the deep engineering aspects of programming. They love the structure, they love the process. But for me, coding is an act of creativity. And that's why I found APIs such an attractive part of building software. Because I get to skip a lot of the deep engineering stuff and jump to the creative solutions that they enable. I learned the power of APIs early on in my career. Yes, that's kind of me back when I had some hair. And the very first API I ever built against was Flickr, which if you're a millennial, you have probably never heard of. 
But back in the day, it was a fantastic photo sharing platform that had one of the most well-crafted and accessible APIs that I have ever seen. Pretty much every part of their product was built on a REST API, and that made it so easy to access their data and create really interesting things with it. But it was the Twitter API that really shaped my career and even my life. Twitter has such a rich river of data pumping through it in every format from text to images to the people themselves. And I ended up building a ton of Twitter visualizers early in my career. I even got to build one for a Katy Perry concert that happened in Times Square, and it got featured on the giant screens that you see all over the skyscrapers there. And I actually turned it into a bit of a business. And the income I generated from some of those Twitter visualizers actually helped keep my family going in the early days of Canva. These early experiences with APIs showed me how much creativity and ingenuity can come from giving people access to really simple and easy to use tools. And that is the perfect segue for me to bring someone special to the stage who can help me show you how we're going to build the next generation of creative tools at Canva. Please welcome Anwar, our head of ecosystem at Canva. Thanks, Cam. So uh, where is our uh, Mastodon visualizer? Oh, I didn't have time to do one, sorry. <laughs> so here we are. Canva has tens of millions of users, creating billions of designs, and fulfilling thousands of jobs across the visual suite. But the secret is, we haven't done it alone. Over the past few years, we've been quietly partnering with some of the best developers, freelancers, and integration partners to extend the functionality of Canva. As of today, there are dozens of apps and integrations, both in our apps marketplace and incorporated into our platform. And if you use Canva recently, and I hope you have, there's a good chance that you used, used a feature that on our platform that used to be an app. Cam, do you want to tell us that story? I'd love to, Anwar. So a few years ago, we were very lucky to meet Kaleido AI. They're a team of artificial intelligence experts based in Austria. Not to be confused with Australia. Uh, yes, Vienna, Austria, snow, not kangaroos. Um, so Kaleido had one product that really caught our attention, and that was Background Remover, or removes.bg as Kaleido called it back then. It's a one-click tool that lets anyone remove the background of any image. You no longer had to spend hours manually pecking at pixels. Background Remover automated the entire process using powerful visual AI to remove even the busiest of backgrounds in mere seconds. We quickly realized that it was something our community would love, and we started to actually integrate remove.bg via our API. And the response was almost instant. Yes, there was this one particular moment when we realized just how many people were gonna love this feature. Our team in Australia was starting to roll out background remover on a Tuesday morning. And as we ramped up the rollout percentage, we saw the response was just amazing. People diving in and using it. It was so popular that we hit all of Kaleido's rate limits. Unfortunately, a reasonable Tuesday morning in Australia is actually an unreasonable night in Austria. And it was made even more unreasonable by the fact that the folks from Kaleido were out celebrating their Christmas party that night. Mid-party, the Kaleido team had to get out their laptops, and they brought more servers online in order to handle the load that we were sending them. <laughs> Within months, Canva became Kaleido's largest cu uh, enterprise customer. And as our companies worked closer together, it became really clear that we shared the same ambitions and the same values. And that alignment became so clear that in 2021, Kaleido officially became a part of the Canva family. As of today, more than two billion images and videos have had their backgrounds removed, and it's a big part of the reason that people upgrade to Canva Pro. Our partnership with Kaleido showed us that when we have the right partners to work with, we can deliver so much value for our millions of Canva users. In this case, we were able to take this big time-consuming task off of people's to-do lists. And it got us thinking about how to further our community by partnering with the right people. Not just to eliminate painful design tasks, but also to make the design experience richer. And we could do this because our community wanted these things as well. As Cliff mentioned earlier, every single day we get many, many requests coming in from people all over the world looking to make designing even easier. They ask for things like, 
Can we add drop shadows to shapes? Or I would like to embed a countdown on my Canva website. And I would love to be able to import my content through Frontify. Now, we can't fulfill the wishes of every single person that wants to design something, but there's often others who have the expertise and the insight to help folks achieve what they need. In fact, the Frontify folks worked with us in order to make that last person's wish come true. The Frontify app is launching really soon and will enable designers to easily import brand assets from Frontify into Canva. For people who have built their brand with Frontify, this app makes it easy to access what they need without having to jump between platforms. While our team has been able to address some of the requests from our community, the reality is our 135 million users already have way more needs than we can meet alone. And as we grow, these requests will only increase. So you might be wondering, why the hell are we telling you all this? As Cam mentioned, we've seen the impact of working with the right collaborators. And we are acutely aware of how eager our community is to design better, increase their productivity, and simplify their workflows. We want to invite you to collaborate with us and expand what people can do in Canva. And that's why we launched Canva Developers today. Canva Developers provides unprecedented access to build on top of Canva. It's a community of developers from all walks of life, from in-house developers at large tech companies to innovators working on AI, side hustlers and student college students, all working to extend the creativity of 135 million designers. I want to say a special thank you to all of you who've been part of the beta of the Canva Developers Program. As some of the first developers, you are in a unique position. Not only do you have the opportunity to capture the attention of the Canva community as first movers, but you also get an opportunity to shape the roadmap for the Canva developer platform. And that is not all. We believe this partnership between Canva and developers is one of the best ways to continue providing a delightful experience to the whole Canva community. In fact, we believe this so strongly that alongside the launch of Canva developers today, we're also announcing, drum roll please, a $50 million Canva Developers Innovation Fund. <laughs> so our goal with the fund is to support developers to build, grow, and market their apps by providing monetary grants and expert guidance. We know that magic happens when people can focus on building the best possible product without worrying about tasks like finding funding or fighting for attention. We also know from our experience creating a global content marketplace of over 100 million elements that the best magic happens when we champion diversity and inclusivity. So one of the goals of the fund is to seek out developers who might be underrepresented in the global market and provide them with what they need to bring their amazing ideas to life. There is so much talent out there and we want to open up more opportunities for those who need them. In order to get access to the Canva Developers Innovation Fund, just join the Canva Developers community, and we'll be sending out details later in the year for how you can apply. There's a lot of talent, and there's also a lot of opportunity. To see how much opportunity there is, we can just take a look at our phones. I don't know about you, Cam, but for me, you know, when I wake up in the morning to you know, go into bed at night, for everything in between, I use apps on my phone. I mostly just use it for Candy Crush. That's fun, too. Uh, and for businesses, this reliance on apps is even more profound. Most companies rely on tens or even hundreds of apps to get their job done. And as organizations grow, this becomes even more complex. Let's take a look at Co, a marketing agency that's worked collaborating on a brief for a new product launch. In fact, let's zoom right in and take a look at one of their workflows for just one piece of social media content. They store and manage their client's brand assets within a digital asset management system. They use a project management tool to keep track of everything, uh, all the work that they're doing. They communicate in several different comms tools. And once they get into the design phase, it's, it's even crazier. They have different tools for photo editing, video editing, animations, collaborations, approval sharing, hosting, designs. Once they're ready, they need to schedule in five different social media platforms in various formats using social scheduling tools. And finally, they're creating their post campaign report in a presentation tool by pulling in data from different social listening apps. OMG, that is a lot of tab switching. Exactly. And it is, every time you switch tabs, you're losing focus and time along the way. As Mel and Cliff shared earlier, we have been bringing the disjointed design experience together since the very beginning of Canva. 
And now we're taking it one step further by finding the right partners that make the people at Co's job easier. It's about helping Co and companies like Co to design better, increase their productivity, and simplify their workflows. It's about giving them the space and the time to focus on creativity, problem solving, and innovation. And to make sure this happens, we've got another big announcement. So I'm going to jump off stage and welcome Martin, our head of engineering for Ecosystem. Thanks, Cam. For the last 18 months, we've been working away on a new set of APIs to help thousands of dev developers build apps on Canva. And now, finally, I'm thrilled to officially announce the launch of Canva Apps SDK. We launched the Canva Apps SDK to a small group of beta developers in September last year. In March, the first seven of these apps launched and have been used over 11 million times in the last two and a half months. And now, for the first time ever, anyone can start building apps at canva.com forward slash developers. The software development kit includes a simple tutorial, powerful APIs, code examples, and a UI kit to help you get your app off the ground easier. But first, let's be crystal clear. What is a Canva app? Let me help you with that. Apps have distinct features inside Canva that can be accessed from the Apps tab in the side panel. For everyone here, though, the important thing to know is that Canva apps are JavaScript bundles that are uploaded to Canva, and they run inside the side panel in a sandbox environment. Yes, that's right. This sandbox is a React.js environment running inside an iframe that allows your app to collect user inputs, interact with the design, and communicate to your backend services. In the Canva Apps SDK, you'll find asset, design, user, and data APIs, and covering the main action a user takes while designing from importing their assets, adding them to a design, and editing them, and finally, publishing a finished design. And you can combine these APIs in endless ways to produce a massive variety of powerful apps. So with this in mind, let's jump to our marketing age, Zico, and see how we can simplify their workflow and improve their output with the apps using this API. So let's start at the beginning with the Digital Asset Manager, the source of assets for all their designs. With the Fetch API, our app can contact their DAMS backend and retrieve their files and upload them to Canva using the Asset API. Now, the Design API helps us add these files to the design itself. Now, with members of Coast staff are designing in Canva, they need to be regularly updating their tasks using their project management tool. With the Fetch API, they can do all of this from within Canva, which means no more app switching. Where the Apps SDK really starts to shine is with design. You can create apps for AI photo, video, audio, and text generation, like our text-to-image app. But Generative AI is evolving way past text prompts, and automatically picking up your user's context is extremely important for this to happen. That's why we've enabled apps to read elements of the design, like text and images, and then update them accordingly. Take the star trans, for example. In many cases, users don't need to create something from scratch. They have an image or text or something else that they want to edit or tweak. With the design API, your app can read what's on the canvas and generate new content based on that. Once they're done with their, their design, the same API makes it simple to send these designs where they need to go, back to your asset management tool for review in your project management tool, or onto your e-commerce platform. And they can do all of this within Canva, right? Exactly. Co can keep their entire workflow in Canva. And there are millions of people using Canva to create presentations, videos, flyers, logos, business cards, resumes, pitch decks, strategy docs, and much, much more. Each of these workflows have design jobs ready to be unlocked with apps that you create. Yeah, and, and how do we get started, Martin? Good question, Anwar. To explain how to create an app, we should invite our developer advocate, Meredith, onto the stage. <laughs> hey, Meredith. Can you tell us how to create an app? Well, instead of telling you, how about I show you? Let's jump into the Canva Apps SDK right now so you can see just how easy it is to start building your app on Canva. First, we'll open up the Canva Developers Portal and create a new public app for Canva Extend. Here, we can also add a few details about what our app does. Canva Extend, I like it. Next, we'll go to our preferred tool. We can use anything like Terminal and clone the starter kit repo from GitHub. From there, we'll just change into the directory for the starter kit repo inside of our terminal, 
and now it's just a matter of installing the SDK using npm install and running our app using npm start. From here, we'll get a new URL that we can use to pop over to the Canva developers portal, add that development URL from our running app, and then just preview it. When we click preview, we can see our app running inside of the Canva editor. Let's go ahead and use our app to do something cool, such as our Hello World example. What if we pull up a template or existing design? Sure, let's take a look at one of those co-designs that we've been talking about. The thing I love about this is how simple it is to get an app up and running locally, render it inside Canva, and immediately start using it in my actual designs. You don't first have to upload an app to the product and then fiddle with it to get it up and running. How easy is it to edit a code, the code of a running app? It's so easy. In fact, let's jump into the code right now and make an edit. First, I'll pop op over to my favorite editor. Yes, you can use any tool. I like using VS Code. I like VI. Well, either of those are better than Notepad++. <laughs> Here I have my app file open, and I can change my code to say, hello, Canva Extend. I'll save my changes, and without having to reload or restart my app, I can actually see my changes in my app. Look what happens now when we did something cool. That is indeed very cool. So Canva apps have hot module replacement. That makes development and debugging so much quicker. Is that all it takes to make an app? Yep, that's it. And now we have an app running inside of our Canva editor, and that was definitely faster than it takes to make a cup of coffee. Of course, we know it takes more than that to actually have your app be production ready. Wouldn't it be nice if you could get your apps into production that quickly? Most devs probably need to use more than one API, though. Can you tell us some of the other ones that's available? If you want to try out some of the other APIs that are available in the SDK, it only takes a few lines of code, and you can have that new functionality up and running. Take adding an image, for example. Let's jump back into our editor. All we have to do here is import draggable image, import the asset, and then add that image to our side panel. When we save and flip back to the Canva editor, the app is automatically updated, and now I can drag and drop the image from my side panel into my design. Nice. I like how it took a few lines of code to get draggable image component up and running to add assets to my design. Building simple yet powerful APIs has been a big focus for us during the development lifecycle. OK, so I'm hooked on creating an app. How can everyone here get their hands on the APIs? You can find a lot of examples how each of these apps APIs works inside of our starter kit. It's also a super helpful jumping off point, so you don't always have to start from scratch when building your app. Let's take a look at a way to communicate with the back end for our app. We'll just start up a fetch example, get image. So one thing that's different about this demo is that there's two web services running, the back end service on 3000 and the app running on port 8080. Mm -hmm. And if we switch back to the Canva editor, we can send a request to our app backend and get an image from our server into our editor and into our design. We can see how this enables us to build apps to have access data for the task without ever having to leave Canva. The possibilities really are endless, and we've seen some really exciting apps already. To help us show you just a few of these, I want to invite our head of design for ecosystem, Julia, to the stage. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Meredith. Hey, Martin. Hey, Julia. Thanks for joining us. We're talking about the endless possibilities with the Apps SDK. What is one of your favorite apps so far? One of my favorite examples is AI Presenters by DID. They were one of the first apps built with the Apps SDK using a combination of our asset, design, user, and data APIs. But instead of talking about them, why don't we let them introduce themselves? I'm thrilled to introduce you to our friend, the CEO of DID, Gil. Thanks, Julia. I'm so excited to be here at Canva Extend. Since we launched our app on Canva at the end of March, we've had more than 135,000 AI presenters generated on Canva, and we're seeing new people sign up to our platform from Canva roughly every 15 seconds. How cool is that? It's been amazing to see the Canva community has embraced the idea and this whole new way of giving presentations. It makes so much sense though, right? For teams like ours that work across time zones, multiple languages, or who just want to create content like training and onboarding videos quickly, AI Presenters has been such a game changer. The scam has shared before, Canva now has 135 million monthly users looking to design better, increase their productivity, and simplify their workflows. And I'm so excited about the potential for AI apps to do exactly this. We want to equip everyone using Canva with the best AI tools to optimize every part of their creative process. And just by looking at DI's growth over the past few months, 
and the popularity of some of our other AI apps, it's clear our community is ready for more AI-powered tools. Take our text-to-image app, for example. It allows our Canva users to instantly generate beautiful images from a simple description. The app's been a huge hit. We've seen over 200 million images generated in just nine months. It's been so popular because it's meeting a clear user need. When you can't search for the right image, text-to-image lets you create one in just seconds. And we have to mention SoundDraw, the first audio generation app in Canva, also powered by AI. SoundDraw allows you to create custom audio for any genre or mood to help you bring your presentations and videos to life. There's also PeopleMaker by Visual, an image generation app that helps you create realistic photos of people, and Voice by Play.ht, a text-to-speech app that generates voiceovers for your designs. These apps and more from HeyGen, Patent AI, and others are in active development and launching very soon. There are just so many opportunities to bring the magic of AI to images, photo editing, sound, video, and writing. In fact, I know that in this very audience today, there are people who are already working on apps that do exactly that. We've all seen how much generative AI has evolved over the last year or so, and I cannot wait to see what comes in the next few. And if you choose to launch your app on Canva, you're instantly accessing an audience of 135 million people. Which is great news, because if you're like me and just prefer being in the code, hacking away on your ne next app, with your audience right there, all you have to do is concentrate on building an amazing product. Well, not quite all. <laughs> yes, the app marketplace makes marketing your app easy. And everything that Martin and Meredith have shared makes building your app as fast as it can be. But before you can start writing code for your app, you've got to design it. And luckily, you're the perfect person to talk to us about design. Thanks, Martin. Thank you. So you've heard from Mel. <laughs> So you've heard from Mel that we're on a mission to empower the world to design. And if you're a developer, you know that one of the hardest parts of building an app can be the design. Over the years, we've identified seven key design principles that have truly guided how we design our product. Our design team will do a deep dive on how you can apply these principles to your app. But I just wanted to touch on one last one here. What it all comes down to is simplicity. Simplicity is one of the most important parts of the Canva experience. We're always working to make the complex simple so that our products and features can be easily understood by a non-designer. And our apps marketplace is no different. We want apps that are simple to build, discover, and use. We've just demoed how simple it is to build an app, and we're always working to make it easier for our community to discover your incredible apps as well. So now it's up to you to make your apps as easy to use as possible. And don't worry, though, we have the tools to help you every step of the way, which we'll take you through over the course of today. For now, I'd like to welcome back Anwar and Meredith to talk about another very exciting launch that's coming up for Canva developers. Thanks, Julia. So, Meredith, we've talked a lot about how you can create incredible apps using the Canva Apps SDK. But Canva is just one of the many tools that our designers and their teammates use every day to get their work done. So then we need a way to make it seamless for people to use Canva with work when working with other tools? Exactly. A way to simplify and automate workflows so that teams using Canva can give them access to what they need, where they need it, so they don't have to jump between Canva and other apps. This next launch will help with exactly that. Today, we're launching a second set of developer APIs. Can we get a drum roll, please? The Canva Connect APIs. As Canva's first REST APIs, the Connect APIs lets you connect with any app with, from Canva to synchronize de designs, assets, comments between platforms. We've already had some great success with connections from Canva to tools like Slack and Microsoft Teams. Since launching last year, we've delivered well over a million notifications from Canva across these two platforms ultimately speeding up the design collaboration time for teams using Canva. In addition to enabling collaboration on Canva designs from other platforms, our Connect APIs will also unlock simplified file and design management. You'll be able to programmatically upload assets into Canva folders to get teams designing quicker, or access completed Canva designs from anywhere to publish in whatever format you need, and also be able to manage user access to Canva assets, folders, and designs. 
And the, all of this is just the tip of the iceberg for our Connect APIs. We know there is so much opportunity in this space, from automating workflows between Canva and other enterprise SaaS products to custom solutions for enterprise teams and connections from learning platforms and tools used by over 45 million educators using Canva for Education. The Connect APIs are currently in development, but you can register your interest to be one of the first beta partners later this year. We're excited to take this next step in making Canva the world's most pluggable platform. So there you have it. We've introduced two new ways to plug into Canva. The Apps SDK helps you make amazing apps in Canva, and the Connect APIs let you connect to Canva from anywhere else. And don't forget about that $50 million innovation fund to help devs from diverse backgrounds build, grow, and market their apps. The Connect APIs will launch later this year, and we'll be sharing more details about the Innovation Fund in the same time frame. But the Canva Apps SDK is ready for you to jump in and start building today. <laughs> We're only 1% of the way there, though. We have so much to do to make Canva the world's most pluggable platform. And over the course of the next few months, you'll start to see more APIs continue to launch, providing more flexibility for you to create more powerful apps in Canva. And I feel like the next great app is in this room right now. That's what I love. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have you here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about building with communities, from asset management to sales enablement, AI text, sound, images, and video generation. There is so much opportunity here, and you never know where the next big app is going to come from. From everyone at Canva, we are so excited to see the apps that you create and unleash the creativity of tens of millions of designers around the world. That brings us to the close of our opening session. If you're ready to get started with Canva developers, just jump over to canva.com slash developers or use this QR code up here on the screen. You'll immediately get access to the entire apps SDK. You can also sign up for our waitlist for the Connect APIs and join the Canva developers community. Today is all about helping you launch or improve your app. Whether you're looking to take your first steps with Canva developers or dig into the details of your app, please don't hesitate to come and chat with us. We've got a big part of the team that build these APIs here today. We have engineers, product managers, designers, marketers, partnership managers, and more from Canva who are all here and excited to hear from you. They'll be running the sessions, but everyone's here to available and available to talk things through with you. <laughs> After this session, there'll be some workshops up on level two. Here, our team will help you get hands on the Apps SDK and write your first lines of code. If you're not quite ready to get into the coding, head up to level three, where we've got three more great sessions. First, we're hosting a session introducing our products and users so you can discover new opportunities for your app. After that, our amazing design team will walk you through how to apply Canva's design principles to your app. And just before we head to lunch, our beta developers will share their experience building apps with Canva. And that's just this morning. In the afternoon, we'll all meet together back down here for some more great sessions. If you'd like to chat with someone from Canva, you can find them up on level two during this time. We'll be hosting office hours with our engineers, product managers, and designers, all from the Canva team, who will be more than happy to answer any questions you have or discuss your app. So right now, we have a couple of minutes for a break. So grab a snack, coffee, and make yourselves up to levels two and three for a 1035 start. <laughs>